Hey, welcome back. So continuing on the tradition of routing, in this one we're going to look at URLs and redirecting. So in case you want to redirect to another page and so on, this is how you're going to do it. So let's remove this part here. We'll leave this as is, just in case you need to go through it. Okay, so now imagine uh, we have our page. This is the user page here. Actually, just to simplify things, I'm just going to remove the other uh, variables there so that we don't have to type them all the time. So let me clean that up for a second. Remove that. Go back to the user section and remove all that. Okay, so we're back to normal. So user here. Now keep in mind that if the, your route only has user in there, if I add some more items here, then it becomes a different route. So careful about that. Okay, so user is right there. Now let's imagine I'm on the home page and I don't want to access the home page. I want whenever somebody accesses the home page, they are immediately redirected to the user page. Okay. So how do we redirect somebody? Well, redirecting is very easy. Just the way we are doing return view, we're just going to say return redirect. That's it. So here, for example, the home route here takes us to the welcome page, but I want it to take us to the user page. So let me just copy that, mute this for a second, paste that there. And then here, I'm just going to say redirect like that. So return a redirect to user. It's as simple as that. So here, if I'm on the home page now, if I refresh, I'm going to end up at the user page. So that's how you you redirect your users. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you're not inside a view, you can use this return redirect to redirect your user to any other page. So yeah. Let's put that back how it was and let's make sure things are okay. Uh, back to the home page. Okay, very nice. Now let's look at uh, how to deal with links here. So we have a few links here that we can test out. So I want this link to lead to, let's say, the user or the about page. So let me come back here for a second and let me go to the uh, welcome blade.php which is inside where is this uh, resources views welcome there we go so these are the links in this section right now they're linking to actual websites but we are going to create a few of our own so let me create one here that says uh, about something like this and then I want it to link to the about page. So there are several ways I can do this. I can just click about like that, type about like so, and refresh. So you see, this is the about link. And if I click on it, it does take me to the about page. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And then the other way to do it is to do this. Okay, so we're going to learn what this really means when we deal with uh, blade templating. But for now, just remember that these brackets, what they mean, this, uh, if I put some content like URL, this is what I was about to do. And then I'll put about in there like this. So let me test it before I explain what this is. So if I refresh and click about, it actually takes me to the about page. But what exactly is going on here? So this part here is the same as saying PHP echo. When you see these two brackets like this, is the same as like this and then like that. Okay. And then here I can close that tag like so. So this is exactly the same thing, I hope. Yes, it is. So you click, same thing. Okay. So now why would you use this method? So let's take it back to the simpler version of uh, blade like this. Okay. And then put URL here, URL like so. 
Right, so why would you use uh, this instead of just uh, putting the about in there? So let's try the about here for a second and do a few things. So about is just like this, right? Now imagine I have this link on the users page. So let me cut this out and let me go to the user.blade. Where is this? Yes, there we go. So I'm going to paste it there. This is the link and it's the about page. Now it's on the user blade page. So let me go to my routes on the user and I'm going to just add a few more items here. I'm just going to say ID and uh, John. Just what I'm trying to do is make the URL longer. So if I type all this, I'm going to get this route called user. So let's do that here for a second. Okay, so I do get to the user page, but now watch what happens when I try to click the about page. If I click here, it tells me not found. And if you notice the URL here, it's got user inside it and then ID, and then it simply added the about to the end of the URL. So this is not what I wanted, of course. I wanted it to be my blog public and then about so the problem here that's happening is that if you type your urls like this where is this just like that you are making them relative to the current page so if the page has user slash id slash john then the about is just going to be added to the end of that part but if you do it the blade way like this you use the url function whether you're doing it with blade or just typing the PHP tags like so, then don't forget to put in the curly brackets. Because remember that whenever you put something like this, whatever you put in here should be valid PHP because it's going to be echoed out. So if you do it this way, Laravel is going to get the URL relative to the home page or relative to the, uh, the public folder here. Okay, so let me come back here and refresh the page. Now, if I point on the about and click on it, this time it actually works because that link is now relative to the home path. All right, so those are the two ways you, those are the ways you actually use uh, redirects and also how you can create URL links to other pages. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.